The ITC Global EV Challenge is Australia's longest running electric motorsport event, having run from 2001 onwards. Supported by international satellite firm ITC Global and Edith Cowan University, the aim of the event is for teams to design, construct, test and compete with a small single seat electric vehicle. Teams must use a restricted amount of battery capacity and aim to complete as many laps as possible in one hour from this battery capacity. The event encourages STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. This provides education in a fun and stimulating context. In the 15 years the event has been running, over 40 schools and private teams have completed the EV Challenge. Melville Senior High School has been competing in the ITC Global EV Challenge since 2013, constructing wooden monocoque vehicles powered by hub motors. Our first vehicle was Herbie, which was fast but not very reliable. It did, however, finish second in the inaugural ECU Engineering Prize. In 2014, Melville students constructed two cars, number 27 named Cake or Death and number 86 named the Owenator after its designer Owen Stanley. Cake or Death finished second in its class and the Owenator finished third in its class. Again, we won the second place in the ECU Engineering Prize and the Owenator won the People's Choice Award for Best Presented Car. The 2015 Melville team has kept cake or death for the senior class, as well as building a new car for the junior event, Speedy. Um, last year, the car cake or death that we built, it came fifth in senior class and second in class C2. Our names we built last year as well. It came fourth in junior event and third in class A2. Uh, Melville started the EV challenge in 2013, and the first car was Woody. Uh, from then we've since built um, Herbie, the Alternator, Cake or Death and Speedy. Since 2013 we have changed our cars to be more aerodynamic and uh, lower to the ground so we could have a very good chance of winning the 2015 EV Challenge. There were many jobs around the car. I was in charge of fitting the kill switch and I also had to help Darcy with the seat. So the atmosphere of um, our workshop environment is basically just having fun. Um, just having some laughs with our friends and just getting the car done, basically. So. I was in the EV program in year 9 because I was in Mr. Walcock's CAD class originally and he decided that I should be able to join him. And I joined him because it gave me something to do after school rather than just sit at home doing nothing. The EV program, after Alicia told me about the uh, told me about it, uh, how she did it after school every Mondays and Fridays, then Mr. Walcock sent out an invitation and so I joined and I haven't really regretted it since. The atmosphere is great, to yeah, We have fun every lift. We had a few issues while making the bonnet of the car. For a week or two, we couldn't actually fit it onto the top of the car properly. And uh, we also had a case of like missing items where we couldn't find something, had to remake it, only to find it the next day. I think we have a good fighting chance against the other competitors. We we have a heavier design, but we think I think we'll make it back up in aerodynamics.